Hello Collective, hello. How are you all today? Hope you're doing good. I'm going to do a reading for us to, to let you gain a little clarity today. That something's going to happen. Let's see what it is. I love y'all collecting. I thank you for coming and clicking on my video. I appreciate you very much. I changed up my decks and hopefully I'll give you a little more clarity in a minute a different way maybe you're someone who uses tea leaves maybe you look to tea leaves to foresee future events but this is about your foresight you just having this knowing you can sense you can sense that you have a foresight about this handwriting this authenticity smoke prayers Hang on a minute. Tarot guidance. So it's saying you you had foresight about this uh, something to do about a uh, signing. It might be of a contract. It could be about it could be about the love of your life. It could be someone is praying. Praying that your tarot guidance is authentic. Okay? It could be saying that right now. Right now. All I know collective is you need to you need to pray when you're receiving any tarot guidance. You need to pray on it a lot because that's the key. You got to pray on a reading to know if it's for you. Because you got to get in depth and personal, you gotta do a personal reading. Are you listening, collective? And I'm not doing a personal reading, okay? I'm just I'm just doing a reading for a whole collective of people. So a little bit could be for you and a little bit could be for somebody else. But you just got to take it as it is, okay? Hang on a minute. They might be a witch around uh, trying to... Uh, trying to... They might be taking your work and you need to pray... You need to pray about this because they, they're trying to, they might be trying to, uh, like, get you shut down, like, if you do do a tarot business. Are you listening? What do we need to know about this person? You got to pray about this collective. Are you listening? I love y'all, and I'm telling you the truth. Influencer. This is an influencer. You start trends and you spread knowledge quickly to set a spiritual agenda. This is what an influencer does, okay? So, uh, so an influencer is seeing if you're authentic at the moment. But you're somebody that, that knows how to you spread knowledge and you try to help others. You're a scribe, that's why. See, there's that false energy. You know, you're someone who's meant to communicate and to influence others. You are divinely inspired to write down sacred teachings to preserve them for the future. See, I know I'm yes, I've done link back. And I appreciate you all for believing me because, yes, I have linked it. I've linked it way long ago. And, well, I just know. And, and I'm thankful for God that I can do that. Oh, a leader. You are naturally good at organizing and directing people. You handle power well. Oh, look there, collectives. What are you else in my collective? Or many of you all are supposed to be leaders. Are you listening? You need to, you need to write. You're being inspired to write. Because you're a, you're, you're a mediator also. You negotiate peace between people and bring opposing forces together to go, to do good. So instead of that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do this right here. Spread love. Spread love collective. We need to eat more vegetables, okay? That's what I'm trying to tell us because we do need to do that. So I hope you're all happy I got uh two decks here together. I'm gonna do this one. So um I think a leader, a bigger leader is seeing that you're someone who has a lot of knowledge at the moment. And that um, 
They might be praying that you become authentic in your guidance at the moment and that you are actually someone big. They, they hope that you make it. That's what it's saying. Oh, alchemal mutation, 31. Oh, see, you're, this is talk about, hang on a minute. Let me get out which ones it's going to throw. I'll put two decks together, and then I'm going to read a little bit so we can understand, okay? So hang on just a second. Spirit, spirit, give us a message. And then that says, run wild for a while. Maybe they're seeing you run wild for a while. <laughs> you know, we all do that in our life at one point, you know. You're seeking the God with noble ideas. And then it said, you're revealing the truth that has long been hidden. So, that's what's going on at the moment. Hang on a minute. Let me set these down. Let me put these over here for a second. So, it's saying put your prayers up. Well, it's saying tarot guidance. Alchemal mutation. Let's read that and see what that's saying from that book. That's the only one that I, I need to really read, I think. Okay. Uh, let's see here. It says. Oh, I'm sorry if I put that in a way. Sorry, collective. Okay, so it said, what page 31? Hang on just a second. I hope this will help one of you all or a bunch of you all. It says, uh, your spiritual growth is changing your mind, body, and soul. It is very real. It is helping you fulfill all aspects of your divine destiny. It is awakening spiritual talents and attracting in new energies at the moment. This process will bring tremendous joy and satisfaction. The body changes as light enters. Alchemy is catalyzed and transformation happens. Sometimes the appearance of the body changes. There will be a change in how the body feels, responds, acts, and creates. Radiance increases. Lightness of being increases. If you have clairvoyant vision... You will see the increase in light as though the person is actually lit up from within. They are. Spiritual abilities become grounded in the body and the person can channel healing energy just as naturally as they would sit at the dinner table. The spirit becomes a living reality in the body and the material world is experienced as an extension of the divine light. Alchemy is an empowering gift of love. Symptoms of the process can at times be challenging. They may include headaches and other aches and pains, flu-like symptoms, and inexplicable and nearly overwhelming fatigue that lasts for days and then suddenly vanishes along with a surge of new energy. That's true. I've always felt like this collective for a long time now, it seems like. It says we may also experience pinging in the ears. I hear bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
So spirits just that one time you was like these old dogs, you was running wild, you know, you was running with a pack. And now maybe you haven't been. You've been just been focusing on healing yourself. See that that light around that lady right there? Like a aura. There's like a aura around you. Look here. Look smoke. Put that smoke prayer at that aura around you for a while. That's what it's saying. You need to pray and quit. You've been running wild and not praying. And God said you better start praying. And yeah, I can pray some more too. And I thank you, God. And I just prayed earlier today. This is about authenticity. Seek the God with noble ideas. And above that, it says I loved you then. I, I, I still love you now. I believe that's what this says. So maybe so, um, so maybe there's a guide telling you to seek this idea of handwriting. You had foresight about this. Maybe you're meant to write. You had foresight. You're revealing the truth that has long been hidden. Well, you're proven about this authenticity. If you said somebody might have took something from you, you can prove it. And, and God says you have this light within you. You've always been able to do this. You're like a guardian angel. You're like an earth angel. Look how beautiful that is, collective. I love you, collective. Look how beautiful that card is. I need to make that my first card to show so people will click on it. I think I'm going to do that today. I ain't never seen that beautiful card. I've never seen that beautiful card. I don't think I have now, collective. But anyway, they someone seeking your idea. They want to run with you. They feel your truth. They know. They, they've saw this too. They have saw that somebody was taking from you in this tarot. In this tarot that you're doing. They have saw it. Put your prayers up. Put your prayers up, scribes. You ones that make cards and you do it a lot. And you know it, uh, you're trying to help others and, and you're minding your own business. That's what I'm doing. I'm minding my own business. I'm minding my own business. Let me get these because they're bigger. Hang on. One for tarot guidance. One for tarot guidance. Villain, you can always rewrite the story. So there's a tarot villain around trying to rewrite my story. I love you, spirit. There's a tarot villain around trying to rewrite my story. Or you're all story collective. Oh, what about alcohol and you take mutation? What about we're mutating all that energy right now by praying? They can't get to us, collective. They can't get to us. God will get them. Don't worry. Oh, it says tree. Let them go. So while you're doing all this uh, alchemizing, you need to alchemize and let this go. Let this go. You can rewrite your story. You need to let this go and rewrite your own story. Yeah, people might say you're a villain or this or that, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Sometimes you need to go with the changes. Somebody might be stealing your voice. Look, this tarot guidance, see the, see the music coming out there? Somebody's stealing your voice in tarot land. Oh, well, villain boo-hoo. I'm praying that God uh, lets me catch you and prove in real time that I caught you and show it. Because I'll be able to do that. I just prayed it. Thank you, God. I love you. All in prayers. Lighthouse, don't doubt your worth. You're worthy of this, collected. Do not doubt your worth. Spirit said, stop doubting your damn worth. And in, and it said, run wild for a while. You might want to be uh, alone for a little bit, and you're going to be the hunter. You're staying with the process. You're not keeping your eye off. 
this person who thinks that they are can steal everything. You've got your eye. Look, she's got her eye on this person. She's like, I see you, dumb booch. I see you, dumb booch. You're not smart. You're not smart. I see you. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I'm watching you steal. I'm watching you. Okay, what about handwriting authenticity? Oh, they're seeing if your poems are real. And they're mad because they know they're yours for real. Oh, God, wild cat. You never know what's lurking. You never know what's lurking. Someone's lurking around everything that you're writing. They're, they're lurking and spying and taking it back. See how that man's on a horse taking it back? It might be a, it might be a man on a horse and... And they're and they're goofy. They're goofy as hell. Whoever they are, they might as well quit looking around over here. Cause I'm a wild cat, fucking lion, and I'll whoop your eyes. Oh God, sorry, I didn't threaten. That was a promise. That was a promise, collective. That's a promise, okay? I'm just being real. I'm not. I'm not lying to anybody. If somebody wants to mess with me, I'll mess with them right back. That's the point I'm getting at. Oh, mirror, treat your body like the palace it is. So, um, so they're seeking all your ideas. They're doing mirror magic on you. You know that someone's lurking around. You knew that somebody was mirroring your actions and ways. You told somebody. Yeah, I told. Remember, I told Clover, release your guilt. This person, uh, you're telling them that they better have the foresight to release, to release this uh, woman's writings and stop doing it. You better release it. Spirit's telling you right now, you better have enough sense to release it, okay? Now, I don't know who this is for, Collective. I'm not saying I don't know who it's for, but it's for one of us out here. Because a bunch of us knows that this has happened. It ain't a lie, but it'll be okay. The truth is going to be revealed. That's been long hidden. Don't worry. The truth is going to be revealed. That's long hidden. I love you, Spirit. The truth is going to be revealed. The truth is. The truth is. Princess, you can be your own knight. You're your own knight in shining armor. You don't need someone else. That's the truth. The truth is, release this guilt. Release the guilt, whatever you've been feeling guilty about, things that you've done before. you got to release that guilt and treat your body like the palace it is. Don't doubt your worth. Stay with this process. Stay with the, the divine and, and let them go. Let them go and rewrite your own story. That's what it said, okay? Be a princess on your own and don't hold a grudge. Don't hold a grudge because you're starting a revolution now. It's about family, all in the pride. This is your spiritual family. I love you. This is castle. It's time for healing, not war. You're healing your castle. It's, you don't want war. You got a lot of wisdom. You're like a smartest damn kitty. Looky there. Use your wisdom and be confident. You know, that comes with, with age. That comes with age confidence, and I know that. Comes with courage and patience and practice. And, you know, you never needed them wings to fly. You never needed them, okay? Now, let me see what this says. I hope y'all gonna see that all right. My, my eyes, I don't like it really, really light sometimes, okay, collective? Oh, it come out 11th house, community. Someone in the community is reaching their hand out to you. You know, this is like getting together in the community and showing your wisdom, you're shining. And then we have 8th house mysteries. You know, this is about the mysteries of life. You're talking about things in, uh, that's happened in your life. Maybe this community doesn't think you have enough wisdom and confidence to do this on your own. Maybe that's what they're thinking now. I guess we'll see. This is about structure, Saturn. Saturn, 24, this is about structure, stability. They don't think you got enough uh, courage to 
have your own structure. That's what it is. What else? So we got Aquarius, Scorpio. Then we got Saturn. That's Capricorn and Aquarius's too. Then we got Leo. You're shining. You're shining. And what else about community? What about community? Sagittarius expansion. So you're expanding it in your community. Spirits elevate you. Uh, in this spiritual process, you're getting elevated at the moment. You you expand your mind. You have a lot of wisdom and courage. I'm trying to get a green card. Can we have a green card, Spirit? Then it turned out retrograde. I'm trying to get one of these green cards. Our one went through the vegans. Can we have another green card? Can we have a green card for Princess Deliriance? Well, oh, it's funny that it came out under that. <laughs> okay, so here's what it says collective. So remember it says 11th house, th this community, you're coming together in the community. Uh, this could be about expansion, you know, your, your growth in this community. You're a mystery. You're a mystery to these people at the moment. You're, you're talking about the great mysteries of life and how everything's connected. This could be about a death. This could be about a death, uh, and a, you know, in a rebirth. This could be about Saturn and, and structure. This could be about, you know, your the way you're structured is a mystery to this Sagittarius in your community. They, 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 they can't understand how you're doing this. They can't understand that you have, you have raw, and you have this, uh, you know, Leo. This God energy, they, they can't understand, but, you know, you're meant to shine. And during retrograde, you took a hard look and you reviewed your life and how you wanted it to be when all these planets was going backwards. And you said, this is when I am needed to show my skills and that I am meant to shine. That's what's said now. And then it pulled out the vegans. And this was talking about solitude, independent peace. So you're reviewing if you want to stay committed. If you're going to, if you're going to stay in this old and not end it, or if you're going to go to this new. So you, so you is reviewing. It seems to me like you may be choosing to become independent and peaceful on your own. Because that's why that Leo shine, you know, lion. Because you're structured. You might have a lot of Saturn and Uranus and Leo in your birth chart. So Lyrians obviously looks like Leo cats. You see what I'm saying? So uh, you got you to gotta have a lot of courage and be brave and have a lot of strength. In your independence. You know, you can be a family. See, that's Molly, Daddy, and a child. Maybe the maybe uh these two people are reviewing you at the moment, Leo. Maybe a Lyrian and a vegan is is reviewing everything you've done in your life to see why you're shining like this to see if you are really structured you're a mystery though they can't find out nothing they they know you're expanding in this community though they know it they know that you're meant to do something in this community because that's why 
a house and Saturn come out, you have structure. You, you know, you're Aquarius, maybe. Or Sagittarius, or a Scorpio, or a Leo. And that's all the signs that I really got. I don't know what vegan sign is. I really, really don't know, so. <laughs> Let me see what one of my cards say collecting. So somebody's lurking in the background watching and spying. And see, remember I said that cheetah don't know. I got Leo lying in me. See, I wasn't lying. See, I wasn't lying. I am a big cat. Oh, they said, dang, who's that beautiful, sexy thing? Oh, God, that's what somebody said in our collective. They said, oh, God, I told you I was a cat and I was watching you. I told you I was a cat and I'm watching you. I told you I'm a cat. I told you I'm a cat. I'm a cat and I'm lurking around because you're so beautiful, you beautiful lion. And I love your writings and I just keep lurking around. I just keep lurking around, and every time you say it, somebody took something, I go see, and yeah, you told the truth. That's what that person said now. They said that they, they everything you said now, it's just the most beautiful, it's true. <laughs> That's what it is, collective. I don't know who that is, but you all do. But you all know who it is, babes. Spirit, oh, we love you, Spirit. It says, someone wants to be in a partnership. Or build an alliance with you, collective. I told you. See, that's why it's, the hands was coming together in a community. They sense all the pain and recognize your heart has been hurt many times before. So somebody sees how beautiful you are in a collective. Yeah, what else? Oh, and somebody out here, y'all need to thank a coal miner today. Because coal is what keeps your lights on. Out here on the East Coast, hey, coal is what keeps your lights on. You need to thank that coal miner. That's how all of the United States of America, it, you know, it's, it was run off coal. So thank a coal miner today. Please don't get mad at me, husband, because I took that one. Uh-oh. That's the only good one I took. That's the only good one I took. I hope you don't get mad. Oh, what else? It says, keep going, don't stop. The angels is cheering you on. Oh, God, the angels is cheering you on, beautiful thing. They know you've been hurt. You might be, have sent, somebody might have sensed you was hurt by a coal miner, and the angels is telling you to keep going. That's for somebody now. Oh, and you younger generation needs to respect your parents a little more because they didn't have a Google walking through the school's doors like uh, everybody else. Uh, yeah, you need to remember that. So this could be uh, a younger person that works in, a, in the mines, in, a, in the coal mines. Want, they recognize your pain, that's what it says. This person, uh, somebody, uh, Somebody might be getting mad because you didn't want to be in a sexual connection with them. I don't know who that is. And you might not even know a coal miner, but that's all. That person that wants to build a partnership with you is a coal miner. That's me and my husband, that top line. Down here and this. Keep going. Don't stop. That's for both of these, but for this and this. But it's younger generation. Somebody that's younger... They, they don't respect their parents. They're mad. They're mad at them for some reason. It ain't about a sexual connection. That that's that 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 person. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it could be for you all. I don't know what it is. Collective. It says to live is to suffer. To die is to be born again and to suffer. Oh, it says, chasing rainbows and flying into your dream life. So you're somebody who's beautiful and you're making your own dream life and you're funny and you're pretty and people wants to form alliances with you. They know that you've suffered. You've, 
You've, you've lived to suffer. People know you've lived to suffer, but to die is to be born again and to suffer. Oh, in this younger generation, they got to, they need some more respect and stop worrying about sexual connections. Uh, uh, quit getting mad over petty shit like sex. That's what I'm teaching you, younger generation. Quit getting mad over petty shit about sex because when you're young you're going to mess up and do dumb shit so remember that younger generation that everybody does that and i love you all and it'll be okay there's no use to fight over that uh, fight over shit like that and if you're gonna fight over shit like that you need to walk away from each other and quit doing that because it's just making you both suffer Oh, and your intelligence makes you more prettier than the other girls and guys I've dated. Somebody said this now for you all collective. Your intelligence is prettier than any of these other girls. They could be smaller and thinner and look, you might think they look better, but this person thinks you look beautiful just how you are, curves and all. You're delicious, and maybe you need to use some crystal mats. Crystal omancy. And this is a method of fortune telling using crystals, either using them for scrying or by interpreting their behavior. So somebody who uses crystals might think you're pretty and you you know how to talk. And then we got train, Norfolk and Southern, and I wrote on it, I wrote somebody who might operate a train, or it might have been a group of people that wanted to run a train on you. <laughs> so look, that's funny that coal and coal train come out together. Maybe this person um, is mad you don't screw them like you used to did. And they think you're prettier than anybody they ever seen. Oh, and fate is the concept that our future or destiny has been predetermined, perhaps by something high, some higher entity or deity. So, they, so uh, uh, something is destined to happen. It's fated to happen. You know a higher source is telling you something about this coal miner or it could be a train operator for somebody out here. And they might have been wanting to not tell you that they were suffering of uh, of a uh, of a bad something because they want you to keep your light bulb idea moments. They're scared to tell you that they might have something wrong with them. And then we have ichthyomancy, and it's the examination of fish, living or dead. The sad thing is. There, somebody might be fated to die. That's sad. That's sad. I don't know what that means, Collective. I'm sorry. I don't know who that is. And don't get mad at me. I don't know. But somebody needs to get grounded. This might be somebody in your family tree since that tree came out. And uh, then we got metopomancy or, or metoposcopy. And this is studying the lines on a person's forehead. So maybe you've been stuck. This person sits and studies a lot and they got a lot of wrinkles on their head. They'd been examining that maybe they didn't know if they was going to live or die. See, living or dead. They didn't know if they was going to live or die. That's why I always lines are coming on their face. Spirit, please give this person. Spirit, God, please give this person uh, the spirit and courage enough to tell their partner. If they're hiding something from their partner, please, Spirit. And you need to give someone a pat on their back today, Collective, just for tr just just for brightening up their day a bit. You need to take your hand and just give somebody like this, say, say, add a, add a boy, add a boy. Why don't you do that today? 
You need to do that to this coal miner when he comes in and I'm going to and I love you, Daddy, and I appreciate you. Sorry, you all. Um... But yeah, you need to give that person a pat on the back because they might be suffering and they know you're a magical unicorn that can help to heal them. Did you hear me, Collective? They know it. They know you're magical now. Because this man, he wants to give you some roses. He loves you, Collective. He does. He loves you so big. He loves you so big. I know when I was fixing these cards, someone was turned upside down. I believe that's all I'm going to get of them collective. That's all I'm going to get of them. Let's see what this says. Spirit, can you please help me with a clear, concise message that'll help the collector a little more with whatever that story up there I was talking about. I appreciate you guys more than anything. I'm grateful to have you in my life. I'm grateful to be able to help others try to figure out things. I'm grateful to be able to do that. I appreciate it. I appreciate what I do have. Oh, we got Sagittarius. This is about your your highest ideals and rules. It's about showing the world the real you, getting it out there. It's about understanding and wisdom and understanding. Maybe you're understanding your genealogy more. That's why it comes to beside that grounding oh and maybe you might have to go to court with uh, this Sagittarius somebody might be having to go to court with this Sagittarius um, what for spirit and there's official person that might be going to leave you a document saying that you got to go to court with this person uh, oh, moon. Yeah, this is about uh, it, some feelings caused by a reaction, maybe. This is about how this person, they, they had a lot of mixed feelings and emotions, and they, they used to react, and, and you had to defend yourself against this person all the time. You had to defend yourself against this Sagittarius all the time. And moon, that's cancer energy. You had, yep. Somebody, uh, this official person knows that you had to defend yourself against this Sagittarius all the time. They was always budding in your business or something. Or they might have been trying to get people to pull a train on you. And the law knows that. Did you hear that? They might know that that's who's lurking in the background. Yeah, and and this official person that wants to uh, tell you that, this wealthy man, they might be wanting to take your case, this wealthy man, or they might be called into a case, this wealth, wealthy man, I don't know, and a mature man. So, uh, it's mature man of yours around, you know, grandpa, father, brother, somebody older, a neighbor in your community, a friend, knows that you got to go to court with this person. They know it. They know you got to. It come to light. This is about, uh, this is about uh, you gaining respect for or from others. This is about things brought to light. What this 
mature man and this Sagittarius did to you. That's what you're going to have to go from. You know, you're going to have to demonstrate and realize you got to act like a leader. You got to act like a leader. You got to realize you got to act like a leader, an official person. Yeah, I do. Okay, spirit. This is about uh, personal power, the mysteries of life. This is eighth house, Scorpio. Life or death issue. Giddy uh, using power, use other people's resources. Death, too. It kind of like that. This person wasn't demonstrating leader skills. These people wasn't demonstrating their leader skills towards you. And they know, and, and, and this official person and this wealthy man knows that they was abusing their power. That's that. That's what it is. And and uh, this official person is going to tell you that this wealthy man is going to defend you. He's on your side. Oh, and and. And, oh, this is about somebody stealing or trying to, trying to steal from you. Trying to steal maybe your uh, nurturing capabilities. Imprisonment. Oh, this wealthy man, it come, it, uh, this wealthy man that's, is on the right way to imprisonment. Maybe it's this Sagittarius that's a wealthy man. Or a Cancer moon energy. Yeah, they're on their way to poverty. Imprisonment, poverty. They're losing everything, whoever this wealthy man is that went against you. This official person, they, sh they should have thought about this. And remember underneath all this, it was... It was talking about your authenticity, handwriting. Like if you're doing a business, maybe somebody knows that this wealthy man, it could be online, stole from you. And, and you, you're you going to realize that that person is going to be in poverty. And then we have courtship Taurus. This is about... Somebody's wanting to court you, you know, take you out on dates, romance you, love on you. They want to spend their resources on you. Someone is wanting to spend their resources on you. They want to have a child with you, collective. It's Taurus for some of you all out here. They might have it heavily in their chart. And then it says change. There's a change coming. And you're going to have to go to court with these people. That's what it said. Imprisonment, poverty. Imprisonment and poverty is coming to this wealthy man. And, and whoever his thief was in this courtship, they ain't gonna prevail. They're, they're, that's that wealthy man. They was they was trying to uh, pretend to do something. I don't know, but somebody's gonna have to go to court with them here soon. And it might be somebody you're married to, since the marriage is on the bottom. That's how you're gonna receive unexpected income, and it's gonna be leaving this person in despair because. You know, Taurus is about, you know, money and your beliefs and your resources. This man isn't going to be able to maintain their life anymore because they have to give you this gift, Aquarius. Because they're a karmic. That's why it's upside down because that's, that's a karmic, a karmic husband. And you kept your faith this whole time that in the distant horizon, a great fortune will come to you from this, from this humanity work that you do, from doing what you do, from doing what you love doing. 
and that you was going to have good times and you weren't worried about anything because you was living in your north node, you know. I like it. Did y'all like it, Collective? I hope you did. I liked it too. Now let's see what Willie really says. Collective? Okay, now let's see what it says. It says, you think someone is lying, Collective? Do you think that someone's lying? They are. They are. They are. Ancient shit is cool. You need some fucking yoga in your life. Do some ancient yoga. They are cheating. Get your body in, in, in shape and look good. Oh, and stop talking to this person. Stop talking. Yeah, they need to. You need to uh, uh to to just shut your mouth and listen. With this person, you need to stop talking and just listen. And that's how they tell on their se self. You'll be like, "Wow, this ancient shit is cool." When I start doing yoga and actually start listening to what their mouth is saying, it gives zero. You are giving too many fucks about this person. Listen, you need to give zero. Listen, give zero fucks about this person, about this person and this marriage because all this ancient shit is cool and it's going to help you. You're going to receive a great fortune because they are a liar. They're lying to you, Aquarius. This is about your vision. Your vision is a gift for humanity. Your childlike wonders, your innocence, you bring a childlike way to this and people admire you for it. You're gifted and people know it. All right, Collective, I love y'all. It's free to you all. It has a chorus in your chart. It doesn't have to just be north, moon, rising. It can be anywhere in your chart. All right, well, I love you, Collective, and I appreciate y'all. I appreciate you much, and if you appreciate me much, would you please hit like and tell me that I did good, and I'll tell y'all thank you. I appreciate you. I tried to do good, please. All right, I love you guys. Peace.